Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with finally another Junk Wax Challenge update. I think this is uh, episode 2 for that. Sorry, I just have not uh, been able to catch up quick enough or anything like that to be able to give you another update. I'm pretty sure I'm caught up, but uh, obviously these videos are to make sure I'm not missing anything and missing anyone's stuff. I have not seen anybody get anything in for a while, but I think think so far I've got pretty much everything in there so obviously if you don't see a point you should have um, definitely update me and let me know um, so I have not had a personally a return uh, for the Jungle Wax Challenge in quite some time so here we got uh, me right here just on the top of the list uh, I sent out mm, maybe six or seven and I've gotten back two so I got Pat Swillin and Dennis Gentry, so I have two points so far. I'll we'll actually just do this. Uh, four leaf cards I haven't seen anything for. Um, but then again, I could have also missed. He's been uh, doing a lot with, I've seen a lot of his drawing videos and some other mail days, but I haven't seen anything for football yet. So he'll have to let me know if he did get something. Uh, Clumps cards is one, two, three, four, five, six total points. Um, I think he's in first place or tied for first uh, with Johnny Meads, Carl Zander, Dennis Smith, Rob Thomas, Patrick Hunter, and Pat Harlow. Then we have Johnny Serena, who's actually got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Doing pretty well there. Um, so we will update that and put five. But he's got Jeff Bostic, Marcus Allen, which is a tough one. Um, but basically what he did, uh, he was able to get somebody who was associated with Marcus Allen to sign a Marcus Allen card. which uh, Or he signed uh, something that came with the Marcus Allen card, I think it was, or the back or something. I, I forget, it was a while ago. Um, but I did go ahead and count it because it was out of the box thinking. Um, which obviously, if you guys, you're still a little bit of time. I think we have to the end of June. But um, if there's like another player pictured on the card with that person or they're associated somehow, you can use that also to get their autograph as well. I will count that. But he got Mark Allen, Steve Atwater, Brian Blades, and Daryl Green. All right, that's five. Yep. And then Scott Spalding. Uh, I was just talking to him. He said he just got Jim Everett back. And then I believe the other two he had that I didn't have marked down are Tim Crumry and Mike Rozier. Or it was Tim Crumry and Altoon, but I I believe it was these three. But for sure, he said he had two, and then he got one recently, so he should be at at least three. Uh, Clickton Yenzer, I have not seen anything for. Uh, Preston Hodge got Thane Gash, so he's got one point. Uh, Chase Neeks got two, he got Ken Harvey and Brian Blades. So two. Um, I could have also... I am a little bit behind in his videos as well, so I could have missed him. He could have had some. And then his son, Daniel, as well, I could be behind him. Got uh, Kyle Clifton. Adam716, I haven't seen anything for. Which is surprising, because I would think, like, Eric Metcalf. Well, Eric Metcalf takes a while, but he's usually a for sure return. Uh, Eric McMillan, I think, is one. Tim McHire might be one. Rich Camarillo is a for sure one usually, so I'm not sure if he's had any comeback yet or not. Tony Black got Tim Crumry and Sammy Smith. So I got two points for him. Brandon Stebbins um, one. Um, we went ahead and counted Steve Young. Um, could be auto pen, could be whatever, but all we're looking for is a response. doesn't matter if it's fake or not. Uh, Steve Young, Sam Seeley, Mark Vanderpool, Haywood Jeffries, so he's got four points. So kind of everybody's kind of around six, five, and four. Uh, Ryan Stonebreaker. I've only seen Tom Rathman and Reggie Langhorn. Come back for him. Army guy autographs. I've seen Kevin Butler. For him. So one. Rainier Studios did not show his pack. He wasn't sure if he's actually going to be able to get anything back. Anyways, it was a tough pack, I guess. So um, I don't think he's um, competing. Uh, TTM dot success underscore 2018. Uh, it's got Mark Carrier and John Raid 
and he's on Instagram. He's got two points. Distemic, I have not seen anything for. Uh, Benji76 show, I'm not sure if he's still doing his back. He was going through some uh, stuff that uh, I don't have to talk on camera. That's obviously his uh, business, but um, I don't know if he's able to uh, do it this time. So, uh, Brett Frankhauser, three. Ethan Horton, Steve Jordan, Eric Martin. So he's got three points. Megan TT Hobbies did a big update a while back. She's got three points for herself. Lewis Lips, Joe Montana, and Wade Wilson. She did not get, obviously, Joe Montana to sign, but she did get somebody uh, associated with Joe Montana to sign. Uh, KT, uh, one of her kids, is also competing, has uh, five points. So Brian Brennan, Steve Smith, Mark Boyer, Bruce Kozerski, and Chris Dishman. Five points there. JT's got also, uh, I'll tell you if I has four. Um, Kevin Fagan, Bern Brostick, Reggie Roby. Next, there's five there. I, duh. Uh, Reggie Roby, I think she got the sign by a family member. Uh, John Ray to Mark Collins. AT's got three points or four points with Lewis Tillman. Eugene Marv, Gary Plummer, and Joe Mott. Oops. I hate it when it does that. Hit Squat Collectibles has one, two, three, four. Has four total returns. We need to fix that. I'm going to highlight that. I must have done this from the phone. So he's got James Brooks, Alvin Walton, Hassan Jones, and Randall Hill. So that's four points. Oops. Connor Waitress has Morton Anderson, which we'll go ahead and highlight that one. Got Otis Anderson, Kyle Clifton, and Gary Anderson. He's got four points as well. He was our leader there for a while. And finally, a Purple GT. I never saw him post his pack, so I'm not even sure if he actually got it. But uh, I never heard from him, so don't know if he's uh, competing or not. So hopefully that's it, guys. Long update video, but hopefully I got everybody's points in there. So if I didn't, let me know. But uh, I think that's where we're at. So still a little slightly over a month ago left in the contest before winner is determined. Right now, Clumps Cards is leading us, and then we kind of got like a three-way tie for second, and then a whole bunch of people tied for third, and fourth and fifth, so it's anybody's game, you never know, you can have two or three returns come back in one day, you never know, so you don't know if you won't try, so that is it guys, thanks for watching, and again, let me know if I missed anything, and I appreciate all your support, talk to you later, bye.